So I'll just pick this out one by one so you can see one by one. So Words with Friends, uh, of course, is the one. Words with Friends. Uh, I played this a, a long time ago, and obviously there's been more, more of these games out there. That's all right. These are pretty, these are pretty good games. Um, the one thing that I like about this game is it's not just available on, on Facebook. It's also available on on Android, your Android phone, your iPhone, what have you, blah, blah, blah. And uh, it's a multiplayer game. You can play, you can play with your friends. Hence uh, why it's called uh, Words with Friends. Uh, so you can play with your Facebook friends who are online with you or any other friends who happen to have the game already. They can add you as a friend and then you can just play together. And that's that's pretty great. That's pretty great. Uh, Word Blitz is kind of the same style of game. And it's uh, it's more like um, like a Sudoku with letters. There's Sudoku, there's Sudoku over, right over there. Wait, see, there, there's Sudoku. Um, but uh, like Word Blitz is, is kind of like an elimination game. Uh, whereas Words with Friends is making more words out of your friends' words. But Word Blitz, you're, you're eliminating words uh, that you're matching. So it's a matching game. Uh, Farmville, I don't know why Farmville is is on this list i mean for uh for vocabulary practice that's a thing sure it's a good vocabulary like yeah you're 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 learning farming words but how, how useful is that going to be in everyday conversation but then again there is a social aspect to it so you, there's a messaging going back and forth that I think is uh, my, you know, pretty useful uh, English practice. I'm gonna skip these. Can't believe it was first available in 2009. So much has changed. So much has changed. Anyway, uh, Mad Libs. There you go. Mad Libs is one. Mad Libs is, is actually a really great practice. I've actually used this inside my own classes to practice, you know, grammar, parts of speech, uh, vocabulary, context, you know, knowing what is a correct thing to use, what, how, how to say and phrase a thing. And also how to tell a funny story. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Yeah, so Mad Libs. Mad Libs are great. And you can share, uh, you can share with groups of friends and share your funny stories. Because Mad Libs, Mad Libs basically, it's taking uh, sentences that are missing words and you make up the words you want to make the stories more interesting in your, with your own imagination. So, yeah, yeah. And then this one is, I don't really know a lot about it. It's um, Alphabetti. It's, it's definitely an online, it's like a, it's a, you play with friends and there's kind of like a, an adventure, like a game element to, well, they're all games, duh. But, but I mean like, um, it's it's a social but like adventure party game on your phone uh, that you can play through uh, Facebook. But you don't need you don't need to use Facebook only to play this game. But but of course there's a Facebook presence if you want it to be there. So yeah, there you go. So those th these are some really good games uh, that I think they seem to be very well reviewed. But if you want to do like, you know, casual English practice, like a fun like game, like English game practice, this is a, this is a fun one. This is, this is a way to do it. So uh, let's go back. Let's just do, do a quick review. We've got um, uh, words with friends, uh, word, word blitz, Farmville, maybe. Uh, definitely a Mad Libs 
Mad Libs. Look that. Look that up. And then uh, Alpha Betty. Uh, if any of you, if any of you uh, have played Alpha Betty, let me know how it is. I don't know. I'm curious. Yeah. So that's your call to action. Tell me, have you played any of these games in English with your friends? And do you feel like you you got English practice from it? Do you feel it was fun practice? Did you enjoy it? I want to know. So tell me.